Hey, I'm Melanie Fiona. Hi, I'm Andrew Martin. Hi, my name is Kelly Price. And, and we, we create music. So your panel today, <laughs> uh, I heard amazing things about your panel. Could you give us just a little, uh, what, what happened? How was it? It was a moment, I think. It, it, it was one of those moments. Um, there was a synergy there. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed hearing the other ladies speak as much as I enjoyed being able to give information to a new generation of writers. Yeah. I thought it was amazing mm -hmm. to reach out to so many people that are trying to figure out what to do and how to get to a certain level without being bothered as a woman. Right. And it, it was a great feeling out there to touch other people's hearts that are songwriters and producers mm -hmm. and let them know that don't give up your dreams. It was, it was just very real, just very real. That's, that's the beautiful thing about expos, you know, they're just, they are unscripted, they are um, super genuine, and raw and uncut. Mm -hmm. And you know, we had fun, we had fun, we laughed, we cracked jokes, yes. we kept it real, and I think that's what people appreciate. Yes. What do you think was the most important takeaway from, the, from maybe the expo in itself, the for whole, the whole event, the, for, the, for you guys? On, for me, it was being on a panel with such amazing women yes. from yeah. all different, you know, walks of life and just the you know areas of the industry and the things that we've all been able to accomplish I think that that's a moment in history right there and and for me I love that I see people coming to these expos because what that says to me is, is that there's a there is definitely a group of people out there and artists inspiring dreamers that want to educate and know the truth um, you know and are not taking the necessary steps investing time and coming and and, and want to hear what we have to say that's that's very humbling and, and yes. very powerful as well yes, it is. yes and also <coughs> knowing that I was one of those people that was in the audience looking mm -hmm. at people that were you know established as songwriters and singers and saying you know what one day I want to be like you and to just relay that message and let them know that dreams can't come true was very important I, I think what I walked away with today other than just being a fan I always say I'm, I'm very much so a fan of great music and so I got a chance to sit on a panel today with great music makers um, but to also feel the energy the raw energy of those that were in the audience and to feel their zeal their excitement their anticipation even their anxiety that does something to me it takes me back to a place when I was there yeah, sure, and it yeah. puts like it's like a b12 shot for me to you, you have to maintain that mm -hmm. I think throughout your career um, to, to have a continuum, it's I believe. What, it, what, it, what it keeps, keeps you going. going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What has ASCAP meant to you guys over the course of your career? I'm actually new to ASCAP within the last year, and um, this is the second expo that I've done with them. I just think I always commend ASCAP for the things that they do to give back. You know, yes. these types of things are very, very important. They're outlets, you know. I feel as an artist, we're so blessed to do so many great things mm -hmm. that this gives us another, you know, way to give back and to share our experiences is because it, that's what it's about. And you know, these unions, they help, they protect you, they help get you get you your music out there, and that's right. what it is. Like, I always go back to it taking a team, and you know, I'm happy to be a part of the ASCAP team, yes. 